Luis Cuba Arias. Luis, how you doing today, man? I'm good, I'm good. You know, closing up camp. You know, we're getting towards the end of the camp. Uh, everything's perfect. Everything's on tune, on time. And I'm, I'm good. I'm ready. Yeah, we're looking forward to your fight on November 11th, man. And uh, speaking about the fight, man, were you surprised when you got the chance to face Daniel Jacobs? I was. I was surprised, you know, because uh, it's no secret Daniel Jacobs was, you know, fighting over on Showtime and he was uh, on that side, you know, per se. And then they were like, yo, you want to fight Jacobs? I was like, whoa. I was like, that was out of left field. HBO had already gave us a list before, and we had gave them a list, and, and Jacobs, you know, we thought he was on that side. So I wasn't surprised, but um, I didn't hesitate to take the fight. It took me two hours, and um, now we're here. Wow, man, that, that's good stuff, man. Um, what vulnerabilities did Jacobs show in the fight against Triple G? What do you notice in that? I don't really like to go off the Triple G fight because, you know, it was his, his one of his better performances. I mean, he still lost, but, I mean, he, he put up a good fight. But the thing with him is his chin. You know, he's, uh, he's been checked. His chin has been checked. You know, I've said it a couple times. Go back and look at his record. Go, go back and look how many times he's hit that deck, how many times he's been hurt. And um, I see that as a fault for him. Like, uh, he did look good. He did put up a valiant effort versus Triple G. He had his moments in the fights. But it's chin, man. Think of the size difference between you and Jacobs. You know, Jacob, uh, he, he rehydrates a pretty considerable amount. Yeah, I do too, though. So I'm a big boy too. You know, I, I, it ain't, it, it's not hard to make the weight, but it's not easy. You know, as long as he makes that weight Friday, it don't matter what, how big he gets. Unless that extra weight is going through that chin, which it probably isn't, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, I, I just, as long as he makes that weight Friday, that's what matters to me most. He can get as big as he wants because I'm going to be pretty big Saturday night as well. How does one beat Jacobs? You, you touch him and you touch that chin. You know, Jacobs doesn't like to fight. You know, he, he's a boxer. You know, he's athletic, he's fast, he's quick. You know, but he, he gets wild and he doesn't really like to fight. You know, so... um I just gotta, you know, be myself. I gotta, I gotta dog him. I gotta bring the fight to him, and that's exactly what we plan on doing. And um, I'm gonna chase him. <laughs> I know he's gonna run. So when I hit him and he, and he gets to run, and I'm gonna chase him, and I'm gonna make it a dog fight. So uh, I plan on. I'm ready for a 12 round dog fight, and uh, we're gonna find out what Jacobs got in November. How do, how do you feel? Uh, well. Do you feel that Jacobs will try to move a lot with you? Yes. <laughs> it, it happens. I've been watching Daniel Jacobs since, you know, like I said, I was 15 years old, you know, and uh, he does very good. A lot of fighters do very good until they get hit, you know, and uh, I think the moment he, he, he realizes how strong I am and how quick and powerful I really am, like, I think he's going he's gonna to hit, he's gonna hit on that bike. You know, I'm, I'm just a fighter. You, you can't sit there and trade with me. You know, because I'm going to catch you. And if you sit there and trade with me, it's better for me because then I can catch you and hurt you and get you out of there. So um, I think he'll be smart. I think he'll try to make it into a fight until he gets caught. And then once he gets caught, he's going to get on that bike. How have you been training for Jacobs and what's being done to get the win? I'm taking this fight just like... Um, any other fight, you know, I mean, I do know that, I mean, obviously I understand how, how big of a stage this is, how big of a fight this is, how meaningful of a fight it is, and I'm preparing and I'm going the extra mile for that, but I, I can't, I'm not fighting Superman, I'm not fighting someone who's never been beat, I'm not even fighting a world champion, this is not a world title fight, this is simply a number six ranked contender versus a number five ranked contender, and that's how I'm taking this fight, you know, I'm just, I'm just preparing myself for the 12 rounds, you know, I'm preparing myself for everything, making sure everything in my game is tight. And um, it'll show November 11th. What do you make of the Canelo Triple G fight, man? I thought it was a great fight, you know, from a fan's perspective. Uh, it's one of the best, better fights in a very long time. They're going to war. You know, they're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You know, it was both guys were getting hit. And I thought it was a great fight. Um, I felt like the, I, I thought Triple G won the fight strictly because he was the, he was the champion coming in. Like, yeah, I feel like you just have to beat the champion. And I didn't, I, I felt Canelo did good. But I don't know if he really beat him. You know what I mean? I'm not mad at the draw at the same time. I see how it could have been a draw. But it, it was just a one-score card that, that had everyone, you know, 
all paranoid and talking bad about the game. But like I said, if that scorecard was a little closer, it still would have been a draw. So, you know, but at the end, it was a great fight and it, it makes up for a great rematch. Who do you see yourself fighting with in the future? Triple G and Canelo or Canelo. Uh, I want to fight the best. You know what I mean? And that's why I did not hesitate to take this Daniel Jacobs fight. Uh, a lot of people think Daniel Jacobs is amongst the best. And I'm just a nobody. So, okay, we'll put him in there. Let me fight the best and let me see where I stand amongst these best guys in the division. But, again, this isn't even a world title fight. So, I, I want to become a world champion in this, in this division. I want to get one or as many belts as I can. I want to unify the division. So uh, I need to fight the champions, you know. So my first, my first goal is to get that, get that world title fight, which is Triple G. But uh, a fight with Canelo, I can see it playing down in the road. Uh, just any, any of the top guys, anybody.